When the world was perfect, it was a man and his wife in a garden with some animals. And they were told to be fruitful and multiply. This is the Abundant Harvest Homestead. This edited video recently came out too. Um, it was something that was buried in the archives at some sort of a timed release. But that was talking about this root cellar project. I'm actually working on these, trying to get this type of stuff to look like this. Um, and wanted to be able to work at this height. So one of the steps was to teach my boys and show them how to build some nice big A-frames. So I actually built four of these that would allow me to work right here. Less issues for my back if I'm just dealing with things at this uh, stage. So actually I've got a whole pile of my posts already made up and ready to go. And then right now I'm working on these beams. And these are some big beautiful long beams and that'll help too because uh, these are also coming into play with my rock collection which I have a bunch of that on site. I just didn't want to start my project and not be able to finish it so so making those sawhorses i think i just called them a-frames but you know the sawhorses with my boys was huge um to keep this project rolling forward
had to get some eggs because I was making pancakes and I found a whole nest. This is peasant bread, and I like it because of the garlic powder and the garlic, garlic salt and pepper on it. So. How many ingredients does it take? Um, I think maybe six. Oh yeah, it's so easy a uh, 12 year old can make it? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I will gladly enjoy some. Thank you, daughter. We already ate a whole loaf. You already ate a whole loaf? And that other piece of it. Oh, it looks incredible. And your sister's making pancakes? Yes. Awesome. You're the pancake girl? Yes. With your eggs you just got? Yes, sir. Wow. Thank you for being so industrious. You girls know when I met your mother, she didn't really know how to do any of this stuff. She didn't really know how to cook or other things, so we've learned basically since getting married and now all you guys can learn too. That's awesome you guys are because you'll be much more skilled. You hear that? You'll be much more skilled. Yeah. Yeah, if you ever get yourself like a husband and some children, you already know all sorts of things. Child, this tastes like better than crazy bread. It does, it tastes like crazy bread, but I don't have to go to town or to Little Caesars to get it. I just have to have children. And she came up with this idea on her own to make some of this for us today, so that's awesome. So those are your pancakes, huh? What kind of pancakes are they? They, they are butter, buttermilk pancakes. Buttermilk, where'd you get buttermilk from? Um, well, we didn't have buttermilk, so I put Two cups of milk and two teaspoons and a little splash of vinegar in it, and then I let it sit for, sit for ten minutes. Really, and the vinegar interacts with the milk in a way you make butter milk. Yes. Wow, where'd the milk come from? Do you know? Our cow. Our cow, nice. And what are you mixing up to put on top of it? I saw sour you. Sour you... cream and sugar. Oh, you're putting some sugar in the sour cream. Does that make it not sour cream? Is it sweet cream then? Kind of. You're making your own sweet cream and your own buttermilk? Sick. You know all these kitchen hacks. That's some good stuff. Show me one of those uh, pancakes real quick. These are absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing too, if you look at the way these children are making these pancakes and uh, the bread they made, we just get to pick up things in bulk and bulk flour, you know, is way cheaper than buying somebody else making the stuff for you. So we get to get discounted stuff by buying in bulk, then you guys turn into amazing stuff. Getting our own milk from our own cow, making our own buttermilk, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be a great lunch. Thank you much, child. You're welcome. Son, did you get run over? No. He did not get run over. Uh -huh. What you checking out under there? Uh, 
I'm looking at the power steering. So there was a leak on the power steering? Yeah. What do you think the problem was? Uh, it looks like a bolt's loose up here. Mmm, or it connects? Yeah. Do you know what size wrench you need? No, not yet. Do you have wrenches? Uh, I have one here. I'm just gonna test it. How big do you think it is? Mmm... Maybe... Like... 15 or 5 eighths. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. Hmm, okay. Wow, so you're saying metric, the 15 millimeters, or the 5 eighths standard? Yeah. <laughs> I I did not grow up mechanic and stuff. Um, but this guy here, there was a couple small BB guns. Could you stand up those fishing poles? Maybe in the corner like that other one. There was a couple small BB guns that weren't working. So he asked if he could mess with them. How many did you repair so far, two? Uh, I've done one pellet gun, and one BB gun, and a pellet pistol. So he's fixed three so far that weren't working. And uh, he's been doing some other stuff too. There was a problem with a weed whacker we had. So he disassembled that and found out what the problem was. And uh, recently, the fuses for this are in hard to reach places. Some children had stuck uh, coins down in the old uh, cigarette lighters. And uh, that shorted that fuse. And then a fuse blew with the lights to the backup lights. So, because it's is hard to reach places, this guy's smaller with smaller hands. He's been reaching down in there. And the cool thing is, if he grows up, because I've shown you uh, changing tires, doing other stuff, different things, right? Yeah. We, uh, the brake fluid too, right? Yes. Yeah, so there's all sorts of things that I didn't really grow up doing. I'm starting to do now because I'm trying to live a more DIY homesteading life. So as I learned in my late 30s before and now my early 40s, he gets to learn when he's eight, nine, 10, 11. How old do you know? 11. 11. So, you need bigger or smaller than that? Bigger. I have wow. no I don't know what this is. It's humongous. Okay. Well, we're going to see if you can fix this. You got the right one, though, huh? Yeah, um. Uh, oh. And you should be able to tell if it's loosening or getting better, but don't be right underneath it. Because yeah. if you go loose, then it's going to drip on you. So basically, we had a power steering leak, and it was, you know, slowly dripping. But then he noticed it was dripping a lot quicker. So he figured, well, something must be getting loose underneath there. So now he's figured out what he thinks the problem is, and he's going to try to tighten this to solve that problem. This thing is really, really tight. Is it? Whatever way, yeah. Okay, well make sure it's tightened all the way. You rotated it some though, right? Yeah. How many turns do you think you got? I got one little turn. One little turn? Okay, try again to tighten it even more. And we'll see if <clears throat> it don't solve our problem. Because if you think about it, it was just dripping at a rate. You know, yeah. it wasn't like a steady stream. Yeah. And right now I can see drips from it. That is dripping still right now? Yeah. Like here's a little bit on my finger. Mm -hmm. Just to put it under it and it just drops right onto it. But it takes like 10 seconds for it to drip again. But yeah, it still is a really tight of a space. Let me see your hands. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's very greasy down there and I think it's got tighter because it seems not the drip's not coming as fast as it was. It like barely appears and it doesn't drop yet. Okay, so there's one way that it was getting tighter and it was harder, and one way it was real easy, right? Yes. You figure that was loosening it the other way, right? Yeah. Cool. So what made you think about crawling under there and looking? I'm glad I did. But what made you think about doing that in the first place? Uh, because of if we put in like a bottle in there. And it still wasn't, it still wasn't saying that it was full. My sister put in a little bit more, and she's just like, I, I'm, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's leak in there. And so we went under there and we looked, and there was one spot that it was dripping from by the side of a nut, from where it would go into. Yeah, and it was actually falling from somewhere else, right? You kind of yeah traced it back to the source. Yeah, 
Good like thinking. Like dripping all over things and whatever. Man, good thinking, son. So you want me to pay you to be my mechanic then? Not yet. So it's nice um, to have our children start learning all these different skills that I didn't know when we first got married and um, just cooking things from scratch and learning how to ferment and garden and preserve their food and different things on the homestead. It's been fun to have them learn and gain these skills before they're adults <laughs> like Papa and I were learning all these different skills as adults they get to learn them sooner and get to get more experience on it and kind of figure out what they like what they don't like and how they can make things better and improve them and kind of get their own style on things um, as they go through and try new things so We just had some incredible storms here, and one of the things that happens when it floods here, well, when it storms, we get flash floods. We had about eight inches here. Um, that shoved a bunch of stuff, a bunch of water across here that was impassable, and also just washes down incredible piles of rock, which is what we got right here. But these nice flat rocks like this, son, you stacked that up while I was Man, buddy, he just stacked all that up. Stand there next to it one, son. So we can have it easier to load on the trailer and then we'll use them for some of our projects. The backdrop to our wood stove actually is rocks from this creek. Ones that look like this. So all this was not here. This was a big old trench and uh, all that's just filled in. And they actually plowed through here to make the water go from the culverts. This was all just dumped in, but they actually took a couple, I think with a skid steer, plowed it down just to have a, a runway for the water. So when folks say, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, yeah, when the creek rises, we ain't going nowhere. We're staying home, because uh, this becomes a death trap. We just have some eggs hatching here. Really? Oh, it is hatching. Huh. It's looking at its tiny little window into the world. So, so we're going to have a bunch coming up, huh? Yeah, she has quite a few eggs. Oh, who is that, Mama? Whoa! Is she just sitting on a bunch of... Uh, her eggs. They're those are her eggs? eggs. She's She lays blue? Like or olive blue. Alright. So I don't know if any more hatching, but that one is... There's more than that hatching? I said I'm not sure. Uh, but... Yes. You, Mama. Thank she, you for being a good mama. Did she lay her eggs in there or did you get yeah, to put her up? She laid her eggs in there. She oh. hatched out babies in March. And then she's hatching. And this is her second batch of the year? Oh, that's a good mama. Are any of these other ones running around hers? Some of them. Uh, one that looks like that is hers, but it's not that one. It's okay. A little bit bigger. She has four running around? I don't know what they are. Nice. Right, so we'll probably have oh, red. In the bushes in there. We'll have red pepper show off for guineas in the upcoming video. 
sneak peek. Next army of guineas. She's got some plans for them. So hey, did you see some of the new intro? Yes. What do you think about it? Looks it looks really nice. Yeah. I think it'll be a good intro for videos more for family oriented. Yeah. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. What happened? Oh, it already hatched. It did That's already? Right. Let's move the food piece. Oh, wow. You guys, it's down in there. Oh, it's trying to hide under its mom. And supposedly... That one right there is If you step back, I get more light. Thank you. Supposedly, there's another one hatching too. Okay. She's hiding. Very cool. Is that another chick, buddy boy? Kiva, no. Hey, let it go with its mom, buddy. Buddy. Yep, just let it go with its mom. We don't want to scare it too much. All right, Miha? <laughs> you just, hey, can you show me who you have? Is it one of the ch little chicks? It's getting bigger, huh? Yeah, Miha. So part of our goal is to work into our videos that we release, kind of some more uh, whole family type videos, stuff that includes all of us. They'll fall under the Abundant Harvest Homestead type uh, title and there'll be a commonality to them and a playlist too so that way if you guys are looking for just kind of the whole family homesteading videos including some of what we've been up to, what we're doing, um, they'll all have that same intro kind of try to include at least most of the family and uh, be a little more consistent as far as content, at least the ones that fall into that playlist. So hopefully that works. If you guys like that idea and you made it this far, let us know in the comments. Um, it really helps when you guys leave a thumbs up, when you guys leave a comment. Um, that lets the algorithm know that people are having an impression. It's having an impression on people. And then it suggests it to other people, which would really be beneficial for our channel. And uh, we appreciate that. We'll see you guys next time. Pop out.